People need to know how tigers are killed. It is such a brutal process. And this is just the first stage. This incident, which is a tigress um, who was caught in a trap, was, was one of the things that inspired me to become a full-time activist. I was just so shocked and disturbed by the fact that this tigress had to suffer such extreme pain. I became interested in the whole issue of wildlife crime and poaching because of tigers. And I lived, and I still have a, a home there, in central India. And the, the tigers that I knew really well and that I was photographing and so on suddenly started disappearing. They just vanished. And the tribals there told me that people were coming from outside and asking them questions about the tigers and, and asking them to help kill them. I spent six weeks touring central India and pretending to be a buyer just to see what the situation was. And I was offered the, I think, about 36 freshly killed tigers. The reason why wild tigers are being killed in India is because of the demand for tiger parts in China. Unfortunately, we have this long, porous border with Nepal, with China, and with Myanmar. And these routes, there are about five or six major smuggling routes, are really very easy. We forget that wildlife crime is the fourth largest illegal occupation in the world. And it's a trade that's worth 19 to 20 billion dollars. I had to prove to people and prove to the government that this really was a huge problem, otherwise nobody would believe you. But then after a few months um, of chasing these criminals and documenting all this information, I realized I had to have an organization behind me. I formed the Wildlife Protection Society of India. Any news? Yeah, the news is that uh, today morning, we have got information that two tiger skins were seized in Yakorba. And any other tiger bones as well? Yes, skins and bones were seized. So this yeah. is a tiger trap that's been used, and it was seized by the Forest Tenoba, Department. Yeah, Forest Department, the, the buffer zone of Tenoba. Oh. It, is, it is just a crude contraption. See, it's not made in any factory. But no tiger can survive this, no tiger can escape from this trap. They have brilliant knowledge of tiger behavior. The moment the tiger steps on a trap, it gets trapped. Then they would approach the tiger and uh, spear it in the throat so to, to um, silence it. And they just club it to death with sticks. They'll, they'll hit the tiger on the skull and the backbone. But they don't want the, the skin to be damaged. Yeah. Mostly the organized poachers are nomadic in nature. So we really have to have very good informants who keep a track of uh, movement of poachers all over the country. And uh, the informants many times uh, generate very good leads about uh, what the poachers are up to. We have a secret information reward scheme for giving any piece of information relating to poaching. And the rewards uh, range from 5,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees, depending on the nature of the information. The Indian government has spent a phenomenal amount of money on tiger protection. I think that the figure is something like 120 million dollars in the past five years. One thing for sure is that this you know, unrelenting pressure for, for tiger parts, has, something has to be done about it. And it's coming from one place, and that's China. Unless the world can persuade China to ban all trade in tiger parts from all sources, whether it's captive or wild, I think it'll be very, very difficult for wild tigers to, to survive for you know, generations to come.